Hello guys and welcome back to another video and as you can tell this is definitely a different uh, presentation than from probably what you're used to and uh, I wanted to share with you guys I had to tear the Alvaville Railroad down and uh, the reason I had to do that was uh, well my lease is up at my office space uh, at the first of this year upcoming year and I really didn't want to re-sign the lease and lock myself down for another year or two, uh, seeing as how I want to uh, relocate my office to a different area. So, uh, you know, I went ahead and tore the railroad down, uh, anticipating on moving uh, my office furniture and everything back here to the house, uh, at least for a couple of months until I could find some new office space in the area that I wanted. And after talking to my landlord, he uh, so graciously offered to allow me to rent month, uh, month to month. So uh, the railroad came down in vain. And, uh, well, not really. I'm actually looking forward to this new uh, railroad, uh, model railroad. It's actually going to be a prototypical railroad of the CX, CSX railroad here in the, the Nashville area. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. The time period is actually current. So... Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to share uh, with you guys, uh, you know, the way I'm approaching this uh, prototype railroad, model railroad, uh, the tools I'll be using. Uh, specifically, uh, there's three uh, programs that I'm going to be using, and that's uh, this video is is geared towards you know getting these uh, programs downloaded and installed on your computer. They're all open source, so they're free, and um, uh, so the first several videos of this series for this uh, prototype uh, series is going to be geared towards uh, you know what is prototyping how to do it uh, you know using the the softwares that I'm, I'm going to mention here in a second in fact I'll just go ahead and mention those those right now so let me uh, let me get Let me get this open here. Yeah, so as you can see, I've already got um, these are the softwares we're going to be using. This this draft site here. This is a free CAD software. Uh, we're going to be downloading uh, the 2D version. It won't uh, it won't do 3D. I think it'll give you a 3D perspective though, and uh, I'm not sure if it'll draw 3D polyline. Uh, that's a little bit more advanced, but for what we're using it for, it's going to be more than sufficient. Uh, the guys did a really good job. Uh, whoever wrote this soft piece of software, they did a really good job. We're also going to be downloading Google Earth now. You know, everybody's familiar with Google Earth, but Google Earth does a lot more than just allow you to look at aerials. So we'll actually be able to go through and uh, extract profiles, uh, 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 cross-section profiles of the area you're going to be modeling. And uh, so we want to download that and get that. And the third one is, I think that's actually X-Tracks, uh, X-Tracks software. It's a, it's a model railroading software. I've used it before in the past. That, in fact, I think I mentioned it back in the first video series. Uh, this is optional. You don't have to download this if you don't want to. Uh, the only reason I'm going to be using it is because it does export to a DXF format format which is kind of a universal CAD format and uh, you can actually export your your track so you can bring up like a number you know four six eight turnout on the screen and export that and, and just import that into your CAD program and you're not having to to you know figure out the dimensions and the specs for a turnout so it does make it a little bit easier uh, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to use that. I might actually just draw the turnout. It won't actually take very long. Uh, I've been Googling around a little bit and haven't really found any specs on the turnouts yet other than just the lengths. So, uh, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, open up a web browser, and the first thing we're going to do is... Uh, well, Google Earth Pro, I've already got it installed, but if you're not familiar with it, you know, just uh, do a, a search on Google Earth Pro, and, uh, you know, here we go, you can see where I've already clicked the link here, 
uh, read through the agreement terms and agree and download and it'll download this executable here which uh, which you can just click on and it'll install so uh, I'm not going to do it again like I said I've already got Google Earth installed here so I don't want to do that again but uh, uh, the the next program the draft site so if we do a search for draft site and let's see the link that we're looking for it's this one right here this draft site to 2018 go ahead and click on that and this here is the actual download that we're looking for at least this is the free one um, you know this individual license I guess you could say um, if you want to download one of these other ones you know go right ahead uh, but this will definitely be more than sufficient so I'm gonna go ahead and click the download link on that and uh, depending on you know your windows it they've got this uh, program now these websites where it'll it'll actually ping your machine and figure out what uh, bit uh, uh, system you're using if you don't know go to computer and highlight computer here right click and hit properties and it'll tell you right here the system type see 64 bit if you have an older computer it might be 32 so you might just want to be mindful of that and uh, so yeah we're going to download the 64 bit since mine is a 64 bit machine and we're going to select OK and let that download and I'm going to hit pause and uh, and come back okay so I'm back so we got the uh, we got the draft site downloaded so I'm going to open it up and go ahead and run it now one thing this will uh, require you to do is you will have to uh, you will need to register uh, I think registration is just basically an email uh, username password type uh, scenario uh, and uh, it'll you'll need uh, to give it your emails because they'll send you an activation code so you'll need to enter that in actually they don't send you an activation code now that I think about it I think they just do it online but you still have to uh, respond to that email that they send so here we've got free uh, highlighted here in the radio button next I accept the terms and let's go ahead and get the install and let me see here I might need to pause this to see how quick it goes yeah so I'm going to go ahead and hit pause okay so uh, we got everything downloaded I'm going to go ahead and click finish select no thanks unless you wanted to buy and right here I think is where it's going to to ask for our email yeah so see we need to activate draft site to continue using so what you want to do is click on this activate button and it's going to ask you for your email address so um, uh, you know actually I might have told you wrong earlier you might not have to register but I know here you've definitely got to give it a valid email address so I'm gonna go ahead and give it uh, give it an email address here these here are required to if I'm not mistaken we'll just put education country title let's put draftsman state Tennessee activate okay so let's go ahead and 
let's see here. So they should have sent. Yeah, here we go. So you'll get an email like this activation draft site. And then you just click here. And that's all there is to it. So if we get back. Let's go back to our desktop here. It also puts an icon on your desktop, so now you should be able to open it up. And I don't want to do the reports, so. And that's all there is to it. Uh, over here, you've got this don't show this message again unless you want to see it. I particularly don't want to see it again. So, uh, just a couple of things right off the bat is up here in the upper left hand corner you've got two different types of uh, views you can have so you got classic which is more similar to the older AutoCAD uh, layout uh, which is probably where I'm going to work from just because I've been using AutoCAD for so long now this is kind of what I'm used to but you've also got this type of view here that you can use which isn't bad but I'm going to be going with the classic here so uh, let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and close that down. And now what we're going to do is go. Whoops, we're going to go back to uh, to your web browser and let's do a search for extracts. There we go, extract CAD. Sorry guys, like I said, it's been a while since I've since I've used it. So. So let me just back up here. So I went to this extract uh, wiki. Welcome to extract. So that's where I'm going. And then here we've got. Let's download extract CAD. And so here again we see the. You can run a 32-bit uh, application written for a 32-bit system. You can run that on a 64-bit, but you can't do it the other way around. So. If you had a 32-bit and you wanted to download a 64, it wouldn't run. So, but in our case, we have a 64, so we can run a 32. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Give it a second here, and it's going. If it doesn't go, you can do the direct. Uh, direct link or try another try another mirror site so either one of those I try this one first if it doesn't start up for you okay so now we're going to uh, go ahead and install that And these guys here did a great job on this software too. I mean, they really did. I just like I said, the the I don't particularly like to use it for the CAD features, but I mean laying out track and stuff, man, it's it's really a it's it's a good software once you get used to it. So let's see what we got here. I think we got go ahead and throw no I'm not gonna put a shortcut on my desktop and so here's what the program looks like but you can come in here and you can uh, these parameter files here so you can go in here and, and load uh, parameter files um, If you click on browse here you can see all these parameter files so like if you wanted atlas so there's atlas 83 ho uh, n scale ho i mean there's just so many so many of these you can actually load i think i'm going to try this one here first so if we load that Well, normally it'll show right up here in this this area right up in here. So let me try that again. I 
Oh, here we go. We want. Guess I didn't go down far enough. Now, sorry, I'm not more prepared than this, but. Like I said, I haven't used this software in a really long time. Basically what this does is it will load it will load uh I didn't like that. Okay, well maybe it'll require a restart or something. didn't like that okay well we'll come back to that I'm not this video is not meant to for that uh, showing you how to do extract but so that should get you guys up and going as far as the software is concerned and in the next video I want to talk about configuring this draft site to use it and uh, uh, and how we'll get started on it so until then guys I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video